Tesla's supercharger network is fast, convenient, and pretty darn reliable. And every day, hundreds of thousands of Teslas use that network to recharge on long road trips, top up during the workday, or snag a little extra juice for an after work errand. In the last few months, we've seen Tesla increase the power capabilities of its supercharger network, rolling out and switching on its first V3 supercharger stations, which can charge the newest Teslas at speeds in excess of 1,000 miles of range per hour. Older vehicles have benefited from improvements to quick charging too, with V2 supercharger stations getting new firmware that improves their power output from 120 kilowatts to 150 kilowatts, or at least for cars with 100 kilowatt hour battery packs. This rollout has not only meant that Tesla customers can charge their cars up to 25% faster on V2 superchargers, but also means that more people can get through a busy supercharger site in an hour. But many owners of older Tesla Model S and Model X cars are starting to notice that instead of getting faster charge times, the latest over-the-air software updates pushed to their vehicles are actually causing those vehicles to do the opposite, lengthening charge times instead. What has these owners more confused is that some vehicles seem to be suffering from a slowdown in charge times, while others are not. And in the past week or two, we've had several people reach out and ask us why. Of course, as is always the case with reports like this, we try to get to the bottom of the data and we try and understand what's been tried so far. Thanks to a very informative forum post on the Tesla Owners Club of Western Australia, as well as data from owners across Europe, I've got some background as to what I think caused the problem. Before I do that though, just a little note to make. As usual, when there's a story involving an automaker and a vehicle issue, we do try and reach out to the automaker in question when researching and writing a show so that they have a chance to give us an official statement. As usual, we sent Tesla an email asking about this problem, asking for an official response, but we have yet to receive one at the time of filming. If we do eventually get one, we'll make sure to mention it in the show notes below. According to those who've experienced the issue, it seems to be tied with version 2019.16.1 or more recent, and seems to focus on just 85 kilowatt hour battery pack Teslas. The software update, when applied, appears to be throttling some Tesla Model S and X cars as much as 20% compared to pre-update charge speeds. Charging is still far faster with a supercharger and those vehicles than it would be, say, with a Chademo charging station and the Tesla Chademo adapter, but it's still certainly frustrating some owners. Interestingly too, on affected cars, the slowdown appears to be happening throughout the charging session, not just at the high or low end. One owner who supercharged before applying the update and then repeated the same experiment afterwards documented as much as a 17 kilowatt drop in charge power at the same point in a charge cycle in similar temperatures after they did the update than they experienced before. At this point, I should also note that Tesla's battery management software is one of Tesla's biggest assets. So it's kind of hardly surprising that Tesla keeps the exact operation of this piece of technology under wraps. But it is, I think, this system that's responsible for the drop in charging power. Back in May, Tesla pushed a software update to its older vehicles that was designed to change some of the battery management subroutines related to charging and battery temperatures. While Tesla didn't go into any further detail, the software update was, quote, out of an abundance of caution following an incident in which older Tesla Model S cars seemingly randomly caught fire while parked. It's likely that the software routine monitors internal cell resistances inside the battery pack and then lowers charging power when the internal resistance of cells are above a certain level. When internal cell resistances are high, charging at high currents will lead to a much faster ramp up in battery temperature than when the cells have a low internal resistance because the electrons just can't get into the battery fast enough. It's also easier to overcharge a battery with a high internal resistance when charging at a high current as the cell's voltage will rise dramatically towards the top end of its charge, potentially triggering a thermal runaway situation, which 
is bad. Too long, didn't read? The software update pushed by Tesla in recent months is likely the reason that some Model S and Model X owners with 85 kilowatt hour battery packs are suffering a drop in charging current. Those lower charging currents are being implemented in order to protect the cells in their car's battery pack, either because the car's battery management system has noticed the batteries are starting to show signs of aging or some other issue. It's an unfortunate side effect of having an older electric car, but let's be honest, the good news is this, your car's battery pack still has plenty of years of life yet, even if supercharging might take a little longer. That's it. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.